Hi, Lewis here, head of product at Motion. In this video, we're going to explore Motion documents, how they work, and how they can transform the way your team collaborates and manages their project. Motion documents provide a central place for capturing information, whether you're taking quick notes, writing down ideas, or creating a company wiki. But what makes them really powerful is how seamlessly they integrate with tasks, projects, and team collaboration, all within the Motion platform. Let's go ahead and dive in. So what are Motion documents? Motion documents function similarly to Google Docs or Notion, but they're deeply connected to your projects, tasks, and team collaboration. They allow you to write notes, brainstorm ideas, or document processes. They allow you to store company knowledge in a structured way, like a wiki. They link tasks and projects directly inside your documents. They create action items instantly using AI power commands. More on that later. Because Motion Docs are integrated with the rest of the Motion platform, they eliminate context switching. You don't have to jump between tools to manage information and action items. Now let's take a look at a demo. You will see that we made a few updates to our sidebar. Now you have this brand new button plus new. And from here, you can create a task, a doc, a project, or a meeting or event. Now we have a big search bar right here. And clicking on it, you can see all results, including documents. And you have an easy way to filter docs, tasks, projects, attachments, events, etc. I want to create a brand new document. So I'm going to go click right here. And I'm going to say new document. And just like that, I have a brand new document, nice and clean. I can give it a title. This is my demo document. And I can start editing and write paragraphs and write content, just like I would on any other document system. So let's say hi to our users. We also support rich text formatting. To do that, you can hover over any line and click the plus button, and you will see all the options right here. We have headings, lists, tables, block quotes, toggle headings. We have a pretty cool way to create new tasks, projects, or docs. So let's go ahead and create a heading here. And let's say maybe a heading two. Let's make a document to manage or projects. I want a list of projects that I care about for this stuff. How do I embed them in here? I can just click this plus button, click on search docs, projects, or tasks, and you will see a list of projects and tasks that I have here. You can also search, for example, if I search for health, you will see that these two healthcare projects are here. And so I'm gonna mention them and I'm gonna mention the other one. To do that, I'm just gonna type the at symbol. I'm gonna type health just like I did before, and I'm going to select this project. You will see that Motion automatically builds a pill for these projects. So as soon as I hover over that pill, I get more details, and I can go ahead and change the priority, make this high, add a label, change the dates, or if I right-click, I get more commands. More importantly, I can see the project ETA. So I know that this project's on track. Let's look at this other project. This one's also on track. Now let's take a look how we do this for tasks. If I press at, I get a task picker as well, and I can bring in this task. Or if I'm feeling like I need to create a brand new task, I can press slash and I can say new task and I can create a task right in line. So for example, this task will be to tell our users that they are awesome in the tutorial video. As soon as I hit enter, the task is created, assigned and auto scheduled, just like you would expect from Motion. Let's hover over this task and see what happened. Get assigned to me because I made it. Picked out a date, picked out a duration, and it's auto scheduled on March 11th. How cool is that? I can see that it's in this no project folder, but if I click on that, I can go ahead and change the project. You can also nest documents inside of doc. Press slash, type new doc. I'm going to create a nested document. Hit enter, documents created. And you will see that the sidebar reflects this one. And I can now expand it. So you see the nested document right here. I can click on it and I can see it right in there. Let's go back here and show you a few more things. I can mention people. So for example, if I want somebody to take a look at something I wrote. So let's say this is a very important sentence. I can go ahead and mention Emily. And as soon as I do this, she will get a notification. And the notification will include a link to this block. Speaking of blocks, I can get a link to any block. So for example, I have this block here that is a heading. I can click this button 
and I can say copy link to block. Let's now show you how to do comments. So say I have a comment about this document. I can just highlight, click the comment button and add a comment to this. For example, if I want Emily to take a look at this, I can say, hey, Emily, can you please make sure that health care SEO enhancement project is updated? Hit enter and you will see appear right here. We call this a date. That means that I can reply to it. For example, Emily can say, sure, I will update it. And this builds a little comment thread right in line. One more thing that I want to show you is how to share and move documents. You'll see these two buttons right here. If I want to move a document, for example, I want to move this My Demo document, I can click this button and I see a list of places where I can move it. I can move this document into a workspace. I can move this document into a document. I can move this document into a folder or I can move this document into a project. If I move this document into this project and I hit, you will see that the project icon changes and it shows you right in line that this project contains a document. If I expand this out, I have my document and my sub document, my nested document within this project. You can also drag and drop to rearrange. So I can just grab this document, for example, and move it back to the top right there. But say this document is really about this healthcare SEO enhancement project. So what I can do is I can grab this document, move it to healthcare SEO enhancement, and you will see that now if I go to the healthcare SEO enhancement that has a different icon, I can open it up and my document's right there. If I need to share this document with somebody that is not part of the client engagements workspace, I can just click on the share control and I can find, for example, Daniel. I want to give him full access and I can click invite. Now Daniel has access to my demo document and he will see a shared space down at the bottom of the sidebar, which is not showing here because I don't have any shared documents with me. And lastly, if you click share, you can go ahead and publish the document by clicking this and you will get a public link that you can share with external users. This document will be view only, so they won't be able to comment or edit, but they will be able to see the contents of it. Now let's take a look at what to use documents for. I have a few sample docs in here. Let's take a look at each of them. I'm gonna close the sidebar to make things a little bit nicer to see. First document I wanna take a look at is tracking projects. So I have this document right here. We need to do an email marketing campaign. And so before I even create the project, I can write down what I want to do in this document. I can figure out what the campaign plan is going to be, what the metrics are going to be, and what the next steps are going to be. As you can see, some of these next steps are already tasks. But if I want to make the rest of them tasks, this is really easy. I'm going to command X slash new task, paste, that creates that task. Command X slash task, paste, and that creates that task. When we do our AI tutorials, you will see how you can automatically create multiple tasks with just one click. Another kind of document that you can now host in Motion is wiki documents. These are documents that capture your company's knowledge. For example, in this case, I have this best practices document and I want everybody to be able to see it. You can also track one-on-ones. So for example, I have a weekly one-on-one -on -one with Emily and I have my discussion points. So I can track them right here and this document exists privately and I only want Emily to be able to see it. So I'm going to go share it, add Emily and like share it with her. And now this document is private just between the two of us. So it doesn't exist in any public workspaces. And lastly, you can use documents to track your meeting notes. For example, I have this weekly marketing strategy meeting and I want to make sure I take notes. And so I do it right here. Again, later in our AI section, I will show you how to do this automatically using our AI note tape. So that's that for the demo. By integrating documentation directly into project and task management, Motion helps teams keep everything connected, reducing scatter information and improving execution. Let's recap. Here's what we covered. Motion docs serve as a place to write notes, store company knowledge, and collaborate on projects. You can add mentioned tasks, projects, and teammates to keep everything connected within a document. The slash command lets you create tasks, projects, and docs inline with AI power suggestions. Comments and replies keep collaboration structured and help teams work efficiently. Motion docs are useful for meeting notes, wikis, brainstorming, HR processes, and much, much more. That's it for this today. 
I'll see you on the next one. Until then, happy scheduling and bye-bye.